Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to create the command line PKT wallet for PKT mining. Now this is on a fresh Ubuntu build and I'm running it on a VM, so bear with me here. Go ahead and log into Ubuntu and open the command terminal. I'm going to go ahead and put the terminal to the right and open Firefox and put this on the left. You can use any browser you have, it doesn't have to be Firefox. The first thing we want to do in the command line is to make sure that everything's up to date. And we do that with this code here. Don't worry, it's going to be pasted in the description below. And once you're ready and good to go, you can go ahead into the browser of your choice and paste the link down below. It'll take you to the PKT page for creating a wallet. In our specific case, we're creating the command line wallet. This page has a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, just in case you get lost. We're going to go down to the Mac and Linux section and click on the installation hyperlink to go to a new page. The first thing we need is Golang, which is a computer language. Go ahead and click on the Golang install link. This will take you to the Golang install and download page. Go ahead and download Golang. Go ahead and let Golang finish downloading. And as soon as it's finished, you're going to want to open File Explorer. In File Explorer, you're looking for a file called .local. If you see that, go ahead and skip this next step. If not, you're going to have to enable it. Go ahead and click on extract, right click, and show hidden files. Here you'll see your .local file. Click it. There should only be one file there. Go ahead and export here. Once it's done exporting, go ahead and show the file to make sure that it's there. Here's basically all you need for the Golang language. And now we have to install it. Now instead of following all these instructions, there's a quick way to go about doing this. Just highlight this Go version and paste it into the command prompt. You'll see a list of suggested apps to update. What you're looking for is the middle one, Go Lang Go. Go ahead and paste that into the command prompt and install it. Make sure to click yes and go ahead and install it. Now, now this does take some time to download, so be patient, the download's pretty slow. All right, welcome back. Once everything's downloaded, you want to confirm that everything downloaded correctly. So go ahead and highlight the Go version we used to search up the code originally and make sure you have the correct version displayed on the screen. After that, we want to make sure we have the correct version of Git installed. So go ahead and copy this code and paste it into the command prompt. As you can see, I don't have the app installed. So I'm going to have to get the sudo app install Git and download Git manually. Go ahead and press yes, you want to install and let it install. Now this is a way quicker installation process than Golang, so you don't have to wait too long. Now that we have Golang and Git installed, we could go ahead and install the components. Go ahead and copy the Git clone text here, one line at a time, and paste it into the command prompt. Just let the program do its thing and then go ahead and copy the next line. This will take you into the pktd folder in which you're going to go ahead and copy dot slash do. Just sit back and let the software do its thing. It's going to take a few minutes to finish. All right, now that that's done, you want to make sure that it says everything looks good before you continue. We're going to go back to the main page under creating a wallet and highlight the code there and paste it into the terminal. Now is where you enter your private passphrase for your wallet. Make sure you don't lose this passphrase. You're going to need it later. It's going to ask you to confirm and it's okay if you mess up. It's just going to loop through the sequences again until you get it right. After that, it's going to ask if you want an extra layer of encryption for public data, yes or no. I said no. 
Then it's going to ask you if you have an existing seed wallet. I said no since this is new. After that, it's going to give you your wallet generation seed. It's a big, long, random sentence. You're going to want to write this down and you can't lose it. Once you're done, go ahead and type OK, all capitals, and it'll start creating the wallet. Once you see that the wallet has been created successfully, go ahead and copy the launch PKT wallet code and paste it into the terminal. You should start seeing a bunch of pings trying to connect to somewhere. This is good. What you're going to want to do is go to the top of your terminal and open a new terminal window. You should still be in the PKTD subfolder. Go ahead and copy the creating new PKT address and type it into the terminal and voila! you have your new wallet address. Now you can go ahead and type in the same code and it's gonna generate a different wallet address than the first one. Go ahead and record this wallet address because this is what you need to start mining. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and check my current balance in this wallet. What do you know? I'm broke. Now down in this page is essentially all the other codes you're going to need. So checking your balance, sending PKTs, sending PKTs privately, sweeping addresses, and folding coins. It can all be found here. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. You now have successfully created a PKT wallet in Ubuntu. Congratulations!